Say hi to the camera. Oh. Hi, camera. Hi, camera. Hi. Hi. What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're talking about Anthro Northwest. This is basically my all-time favorite furry con for its chill, wholesome, and safe vibes. The convention is basically the replacement to Rainforest and has to swing really hard into the safer work side of the fandom. I can't even wear a utility harness because of its connections to fetish gear. So outside of that though, it's a wonderful con. So Anthro Northwest takes place in downtown Seattle. A good walk or a scooter ride from Pike's Place Market, a beautiful place right on the waterfront, unlike any mall I've ever seen. So much to do there, and we even found this crazy automated coffee shop. Let me prepare it right away. In the meantime, you can find more details in the Artly Coffee app. I am out of 12 ounces paper cup. Please ask the store staff to refill the cups. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then also getting inexpensive food and drink was particularly easy. Obviously there was those convenient options, but just going into town wasn't too bad to get cheap food. The city is absolutely wonderful vibes. Has a whole gayberhood with rainbow crosswalks, LGBT bars, and weird stuff I never thought I would see in public in a city. And even outside of Capitol Hill, as it's called, there's still the LGBT flag on like every building, and signifying how friendly it is to be there. Walking around in suit even was super fun. I felt totally safe and even got pictures with the general public. And since there's so many furries in Seattle, I met up with a lot of my friends and even got to go to a place called Vulpine Tap Room, a furry owned and operated bar. No, this camera's about to die. I'm by the furry tap room which was uh, super cool. Now, for it being the furry mecca of Seattle, the con was surprisingly not crowded. There was plenty to do with the con with fursuit-sized games like Connect Four. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, you snuck up on me! <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Out here wow. fighting the Connect Four Master. <laughs> Staff were present and didn't appear to be overworked. The registration line was non-existent and everyone got main hotel. And the staff at the hotel were extremely friendly, happy to see the furries and even like some of them would dress up in their furry outfits. And even when a fog machine went crazy and caused the con to evacuate, It was handled super well. Everyone got out safely, and we even had fun howling at the sirens when the fire department showed up. <laughs> now, rainforest ruined furries for the Seattle area. And so Anthro Northwest needs to try extremely hard to be a family-friendly convention. I saw a lot of children in their homemade fursuits and dino masks. Overall, I was kind of uncomfortable since I was around so many kids, but at the same time, there was no adult activities. So I was kind of infringing on their space rather than them on mine. So I had to be, you know, very presentable. I couldn't walk around with underwear on, for example. And so I think that a, a kid-friendly furry con is a big thing that I think a lot more, I think a lot more of those need to exist because I think there's a lot of kids here and they're not going anywhere. So they need places where they can express themselves. There was tons of areas with, you know, art and fursuit making, plushie making. Um, they had this like cardboard castle where kids drew all over it. Super cool, super wholesome. Now to end it off, the raves were actually every single night, starting with day zero and ending on Sunday night. So that was pretty cool. Um, we had to miss Sundays because we were tired and needed to go home. 
Uh, but not before I made it to a fursuit walk going to Pike's Place Market. And that was super fun, hosted by the lovely Zarafa the Giraffe. And ugh, just such, such a pleasant time. Um, check out these pictures and some of the video for the outro. But that was my experience at Anthro Northwest. Lovely con, highly recommend visiting the con, highly recommend visiting Seattle. And until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.